we are at the Kelpies. Oh, look who's there. <laughs> Come on, jump there, Hello, mate. We are in Falkirk. I'm glad you knew that word. I Which didn't. is near Edinburgh. And we're at the Kelpies. Kelpies, yeah. We're going to yeah. go see them at night time. Um, and in the before they go to sleep. Yeah, you took them in. <laughs> night, Kelpies. But look, we're all parked up. Whoa. It's brilliant. The drive up here, though, was absolutely fantastic. Scenery is phenomenal. I mean, that A68 was something else, really was. Um, and then to be parked here is brilliant. John was telling me that we, we can park here for a couple of days, no problems. They're uh, really welcoming. So, thank you very much. There's some other motorhomes parked up here. There's a couple there. And then there's a few uh, down there. So yeah, there's a few people here. Um, gonna now think about getting some dinner. I don't know what to cook, maybe a bacon sandwich. I'm not majorly hungry. Pete just reminded me about the time that we were with Jimmy, Kev and Will and we were... Uh, Snackless. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we all divided up the food and uh, I was getting a meal, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy was doing the breakfast, Pete, Pete done the curry, Kev done a stew and we told Will to get the snacks, um, which he bought some stuff with him. Were they snacks? Not our sort of snacks. <laughs> Now snacks to us, and I did ask you lot to uh, to chime in, and a lot of you did chime in. It was quite a popular uh, talking point. Snacks to 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 me and Pete are crisps, sweets, biscuits, cakes, chocolate, all that. Not wasabi peanuts and cashew nuts and rice cakes. Um, what else did he get us? I mean. There wasn't anything sweet at all. Nacho and dips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but there was no cheese the dip. did nuts. <laughs> yeah. This is snacks, Will. This. <laughs> These, take note, Will. Pause the video. <laughs> you can write a shopping list for next time. Snacks. <laughs> oh, is it cake, biscuits, chocolate, biscuits, crisps, more biscuits. And I've got the same in mine. <laughs> we ain't got no wasabi nuts. There's no wasabi nuts here. Uh, <laughs> there's no rice cakes. <laughs> Learn your lesson, Will. Learn your lesson. I sure reckon everyone should knock up a nice ham and cheese omelette. Why not? <laughs> They're a bit small eggs. I think another one for luck's needed. I mean, if you're gonna have a ham on it, you need a lot of ham. And there we go, dinner is served. Nice, quick and easy cheese and ham omelette. Bit of toast, done. All right, night time at, whoa, shit. I thought I was gonna fall in then. <laughs> night time at the Kelpies. Look at them. How good do they look? Yes. All right, so yeah, we just have, uh, had dinner. I had a nice little omelette, and now uh, walking around the Kelpies at night, getting some, getting some night photography. Which is pretty cool. It's not as not that easy to be fair, but got a few pictures which I'll put on the uh, put up now. So let's have a little look, can we? There you go. Look at them. How cool do they look? All the way up at night and then look at the this little lock. It's crystal clear. Like it's like glass. 
being able to see the reflection. And that's the main thing I've been trying to photograph. Another brilliant end to a brilliant day. Uh, been to see the Kelpies. Uh, we arrived here this evening and had a little look round in the dark and they're all lit up, which is, they look brilliant. brilliant. Um, probably go see them in the morning in a little bit of daylight. And then uh, tomorrow I think we're off to Loch Lomond, or oh, I'm probably saying that wrong. Brilliant day, a lot of driving today um, through the through the uh, countryside on the A68, and that is a brilliant, brilliant road. Definitely recommend that. And the viewpoint, whew, that's nice. That is nice. Good morning. There's our park up that we had last night at the Kelpies. It's filled up quite a lot now. There's quite a lot of people here. Uh, quite night last night, really. There is a main road over there, so that's a bit. You can probably hear it. Maybe check a castle out or something today, and then uh, go to Loch Loman. So yeah, done that. Had a bit of a news this morning that um, Turkey's now on the quarantine list. I was meant to go to Turkey and we were still wondering whether to go or not and I decided to come to Scotland instead. I am over the moon that I didn't go to Turkey so uh, I don't have to quarantine when I get back. I'm still in this country, I can do what I need to do. If anything happens in here then I'll adjust and do what I need to do. But um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with the day really. Right, we had a little pit stop, we've parked up, we've had a little walk around, been up the top, and uh, just stopped at a bakery. <laughs> and I have got a black pudding, black pudding sausage roll. Oh yes. It's not warm. I reckon it'd be amazing if it was warm. But that is still like 65p. <laughs> That's brilliant. And <laughs> I can't believe it was a massive glass bottle. And then look at this, look at this where we are. Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? We've had a little walk around Stirling and um, back at the Mott home now. Just been into the Sainsbury's which we parked in. But look at this, so there's, there's the Sainsbury's, right? And then if you look over here, look at that view. I mean, seriously, Sainsbury's with a view or what? How killer is that? We have arrived at Loch Lomond, as you can see in the background. 
This is absolutely brilliant. This place looks amazing. I mean, just look, look at that. What a view. And then there's, we're all, uh, we're all parked up. Let's have a look where we all are. There we go. So there's me, John and Mandy, John and Tash, and then Pete's at the end. But yeah, look at this place. Let's have a little walk through, shall we? It's, uh, that was a nice little drive in, very, uh, very scenic and uh, twisty roads winding in and that. But this place just looks absolutely incredible. This is. <sighs> oh, does it get much better than this? I've got a fridge full of food, full of bacon, and I've got a view like this. <laughs> and, my, and I'm parked up there. I mean, come on. This is, <laughs> this is something else. How amazing. We're uh, witnessing a really nice, Sky right now. I mean, he's doing wonders for this. One money maker. Look at this. Darren's not going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, let me try and. Can't really uh, see it in this beauty with meat as well. <laughs> Selfie. <w> <laughs> <laughs> We've done, me and Manny have done some fishing. We didn't catch anything. I, I went wading in. I'm a bit cold now, but yeah, all good fun. I'm gonna go cook a pizza now and then <laughs> eat it with, whilst the last of the sun goes down. No, that'll be gone. Put some light on yourself. No, I don't dark, need, I don't need light. I've got this nice, this nice thing going on. That's called my face. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a beauty. Isn't it? it could be a painting though, couldn't it? Mm. Right, so I have just got a pizza for tonight um, for dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna have that. I put a little bit more cheese on it. I'm gonna whack that in now. There we go. Nicely cooked pizza. Got a couple of Pepsi's there. And I'm gonna come out here. You ain't gonna see it really. I'm gonna sit down there and look out at that. I mean, what a view, eh? Watching that view until it goes dark and the stars come out with a pizza. That is living the dream. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm wrapped up quite warm. <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. All right, Saturday morning at Loch Lomond. Let's have a little walk through the woods. It is raining, but let's have a little walk. I think we're going to stay here for a couple of days. Um, I think we're meant to have some bad weather from now on, to be fair. Um, with rain and wind. I think we're going to hunker down while we can, if we can, if you know, not bothering anyone. And uh, yeah, just potter around, do a few maintenance days I suppose, do a bit of tidying up in the motorhome, cook some food, play some card games I suppose, <laughs> play some Uno, yeah, seriously is amazing though, around here, absolutely amazing.
Right, so while it's uh, piddling down with rain, me and Pete, mainly Pete, <laughs> he's going to have a look at the drawer because uh, I've been figuring out ways to try and do it because the wood that has been put on top is not strong enough to hold a wedge in underneath and then it'll break the frame. I tried to put a chisel under it and it just flex away so so Pete's thinking thought of another way of maybe going from the bottom up is that the right way um instead of chiseling it we're going to do a couple of holes a couple of drill holes and then use a jigsaw and what we can't cut out of the jigsaw we'll use a little Japanese saw sweet I think so we'll try that so we're going to do a little hole in there Old Irwin saw. We can see if we can do it old school. Is that lifting? He's lifting. That's good, isn't it? He's good. Let's do some snapping. <laughs> Controlled snapping, though. In theory, it is only where it's being held along here. You want a drill hole? I've got a scroll blade, so it's... Oh, it will turn. It's a very turny. For scrolling, scribing, a scribe blade. Oh, yes. Oh, moment of truth. The horrible bastard piece of wood is out. <laughs> Should we see if it fits? It fits. It doesn't fit. Cut the film. <laughs> but at least. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier than it was. Right. So all the edges have been taken off now, chiseled off. And scrape back. Or mullard. <laughs> oh yeah, I've mullard. As we like to say. And now it fits and it closes. Yes. Yurika. <laughs> Woohoo! So I've got to say a massive thanks to Pete for helping me for that. And a massive thanks to Shane who sent me the uh sent me the draw and I can't remember the guy's name, but the guy who made a video, which I'm going to put into this video. Hi guys, this is just a quick video for Darren of the Urban Motorhome. Um, was interested to know, he wanted to find out about the chopping board uh, that didn't appear to be standard fit. So if you look here, that's the same unit as what Darren's got in his motorhome. Basically what his pre the previous owner's done, is just remove the tray, cut the tray out of there and they've just fitted it's basically a piece of board across there. Who showed me that it was actually a cutlery drawer because he's made a quick video um, as soon as I put the question out there. So yeah, really, really appreciate it guys, all of you. Thanks, cheers.